Benji Cole, son of Al Cole from CBS Radio and host of People of Distinction, the talk that gives an in-depth view of some of the most dynamic, intelligent, and successful people on the planet. Run to our website, peopleofdistinction.org, for more info, or you can always email me directly at benji at alcoholenterprises.com. And on the line with us today, we have Hadassah Alderson. We'll be discussing her fantastic book, The Bible According to Eve, The Women of the Torah, available for purchase through Amazon as well as barnesandnoble.com. And I will say, Hadassah was brought to our network, People of Distinction, today by some of the best movers in the business. You are Link Print and Media Publishing. So if you have a book that you'd like moved, do yourself a favor and contact our good friends over there at You Are Link. And you can find out more information on them at youarelinkpublishing.com. And guys, listen, it is an absolute pleasure to have Hadassah here on the line. Right there in the title, you know what we're discussing today. Okay, sit back, strap in. We are going back to church, but we're doing it in a very unique way. And I'm so excited about this because everybody knows about the men in the Bible, right? I mean, well, of course, everybody that is in that particular community and belief system. Even if you're not, you've heard the names. But for the people that are in that particular community, you know there are an endless amount of stories about the men. And of course, we live in a patriarch society, so it's kind of typical and expected. But when it comes to the women of the Bible, a lot of their stories aren't as well known. When you start to learn more about them, it's only a positive outcome. And that is exactly what we have in store today. We're going to be learning about the women of the Bible. Now, of course, there's much more information that can be covered in a 20-minute interview. But listen, we're going we're gonna to get started, okay? And Hadassah is the expert. She's done the research. She's comprised the book. She's going to be able to articulate everything much better than I ever could. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Hadassah, first and foremost, welcome to People of Distinction, and thank you so much for being a guest. How are you? I'm fine. I'm really excited to do this. Absolutely. Well, listen, we are just as excited and really just as honored to have you as a guest on our network because, as I stated, the knowledge that we're going to be able to receive from you is truly invaluable. Now, Hadassah, before we go into the book, I know we have so much information to cover, but let's hold off slightly. Start by telling our listening audience a little bit more about yourself, please. Well, uh, my name is Hadassah Alderson, and uh, I am from Wichita, Kansas. Uh, I went to college at Friends University. I took some classes at Claremont Graduate University uh, in California, and uh, I, uh, I, I am Jewish. And uh, I, um, uh, I, I am happy to do this interview during the high holidays when uh, it is the most intense uh, prayer time on the Jewish calendar. Mm-hmm. Well, talk about perfect timing, right? I mean, this is, the stars are aligning. I mean, it's definitely meant to be. Hadassah, without further ado, The Bible According to Eve. Tell us a little bit more about your book. Well, the book is about, um, the book is about the women of the Hebrew Bible. And one thing I did in, in, uh, in using it uh, using the regular Hebrew Bible, as I use details in the Bible. For example, everybody knows that Rachel is the beautiful sister, whereas Leah is not. But what they don't know is that Leah was nearsighted. That was part of why she wasn't as pretty as Rachel. She was nearsighted. And what they don't always know is that each sister, Rachel, had a maidservant, Bilhah, 
and Leah had a maidservant, Zilpa, who also had children with Jacob. Uh, these are details that also came out in the book, uh, The Red Tent, uh, but they're details that were important in my book because I felt that the story of Jacob's wives were particularly interesting. Now, that being said, I started with um, my own creation story, and I led into uh, into uh, the story of Noah's wife, whose name is never mentioned. And then after Genesis, in Exodus, I talked about um, Moses' wife, Yaakova, and... Uh, and uh, his uh, his wife Zipporah, uh, but also figures like he had a second wife who was uh, what's called a Cushite woman. Now you shouldn't use the word Cushite in Israel because it's still not a nice word. But what it means is Ethiopian, and Moses had an Ethiopian wife hmm. uh, apart from Zipporah, so. That was, you know, a lead up into the book for the other three books that I wrote about, uh, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. I wrote extensively about the legal materials of the, uh, of the Bible. And what it was, was it was about the, uh, it was a case history of how the laws may have worked. Anyway, that's it. Let's go into the concept of inspiration. So first and foremost, why did you feel compelled to write this book? I mean, I can see the interest that you have had for yourself, but why didn't it end there? You wanted to put it out for other people to be able to learn and participate in the journey as well. Why was it important for you to do that? Well, because I feel like a lot of people wonder about uh, about women's place in the Bible, and I also feel like there are people who wonder, uh, you know, they the, they haven't read the Bible or they read the Bible but they don't they don't quite connect with it. They uh, they don't uh, they don't see how it relates to today's world. Well, without pretending to do more than augment the Bible. Uh, which sounds a little egotistical. <laughs> uh, I uh, I'm trying to make it um, I'm trying to make it accessible to the average reader uh, who may or may not know the stories as well as I do. Mm -hmm. You know, and going a little deeper with that. Now, specifically, of course, you're talking about the Bible, but honing in on the women of the Bible. Now, as I started off the interview by saying, I am a firm believer of representation and how important that is to really be represented either in books, television, series, movies, whatever. Now, because your book spoke, focuses specifically on the women of the Bible, was that something that you had gone in and right off the bat had consciously been aware of wanting to do? And if so, why was that representation so important in that education for your readers? Well, I guess it was important because, um, because you know, uh, you know uh, feminist issues today, you know, people, people are interested in, uh, I mean, I even have a book on my shelves, uh, Ahab's Wife. You know, it's Moby Dick, but it's from the point of view of the wife who was never on the trip. Oh, well, wow. women were on the trip in the Bible, but, you know, maybe maybe people don't gen generally see it. Here in the line with Hadassah Alderson, we're discussing her fantastic book, The Bible According to Eve, The Women of the Torah. Available for purchase through Amazon as well as BarnesandNoble.com. You know, Hadassah, I'd love to know, because of course, the information that is found within your book is, is extensive. 
And because it's so extensive, because it is so in depth, I'd love to know about the research that you that you did in preparation for this book. Well, you know, I've taken classes on the Bible. You know, I took uh, a class called the Elijah Traditions when I was at um, CGU, and I also know some Hebrew. Uh, I also, um, I uh, also uh, have. Um, uh, I also, it was actually when I wrote the poems, it was my third reading of the scripture. I mean, that doesn't sound like a lot, but it was the third time I read the Bible that I wrote it. And um, and uh, I have read uh, different books about the Bible, like... Um, uh, I've read uh, uh, Who Wrote the Bible, which, you know, is sort of a general history, but uh, uh, Introduction to the Hebrew Bible uh, and other books. I've read, uh, I've also read uh, Talmudic expositions on the Bible. So I must say with the Talmud, I've only read bits and pieces. You know, I'm not really a rabbi or anything. What would you, if you can relay to myself and also our listening audience, of course, guys, listen, if you want to know all of the stories and all of the information that Hadassah has researched and really compiled in the book, as I've stated already, there's no getting around it. Amazon, Barnes & Noble, that's where you have to go, Right. But since we have you here on the line, I'm curious, what would you say, uh, if you can articulate an, an individual story that you had discovered for one of these women in the Bible, and really something that the common person doesn't know? It really is just a little bit of a teaser to help us along with this, please. With Jacob's four wives, Bilhah was a wife who um, Jacob had, who had a son named Reuben, who had, who had an affair with her. That's in the regular Bible. In my version of the Bible, the reason that, that uh, the sons who sold Joseph sold Joseph was because Joseph was saying bad things about the maids who had, including the 